welcome back here with Dustin Fleming at Dutor. He's one of the adaptive athletes, and this is a really big deal because this is the first time that adaptive snowboarding is actually in the Dutor, right? Yep. And so, why is that exciting for you? It's just to be up on a big stage finally and get the adaptive community out there and let people see it is just amazing. You know, we're good riders, and we we want to prove it to the world. You know. And so you are one of our local guys. And so what's it like training here around the Rocky Mountains? And you know, how does that help you actually get ready for events like this? It's amazing. Uh, you got the mountains, obviously, so you can go downhill anytime, summer, winter, spring, um, fall, all of it. So it really just sets you up for, I'd say, success in these types of sports to be able to Get your get your body together and your mind together to physically go down these hills and just become relaxed. Everybody's tense at first when you're going down a mountain at 30 miles per hour until you do it 150 times and then you know you start to get a little bit less tense. <laughs> okay. Now there's a lot of reasons why the the people who are competing in the adaptive category are competing in the adaptive category. Yeah. How did you end up in the adaptive category? I, uh, like, how'd my injury happen? Yeah. I, I was injured in Iraq in the military. Uh, I was with the Marine Corps, and I was just on a foot patrol, uh, kind of just trying to do our thing out there and keep peace, and got hit by a sniper round, uh, started hopping to a building, and got the hell out of Iraq. So that was, that was basically it, and found out that my nerves wouldn't come back, and had it chopped. There you go, had yeah. it chopped. And so how does it feel snowboarding? Can we see it? Can you show yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I can show a little bit of it. I mean, I can take my boot off. <laughs> you didn't know. You don't have to do that. But, but. So, so how does it feel when you're riding? And are, you know, is there any difference that you know, other people might experience? Or you know, are you adjusting in a different way? Um, you know, I, one of my main things just in any sport, not even just the, these types of extreme sports, is to try to stay as close to able-bodied individuals as possible and how you maneuver and how you uh, try to set yourself self up for success in it. You know, to me, I never snowboarded before I lost my legs. So going into it with this, I really don't know what a, a two-legged person would feel like snowboarding or where they would move their ankle flexion or any of that. So I try to just stay calm have fun with it and watch the other riders you know you're watching pros out here and they're all amazing athletes and the top of the line so who's best people to watch and learn from I, I could not agree more and so again you know for people that have never watched adaptive snowboarding before real quick what makes it super exciting and what should they be looking for on this course well, there's a couple jumps in the course, uh, which, you know, it's always fun to get some air time. And it's, it's very rare on a bank slalom to have jumps and uh, especially like a naturally built jumps. Um, and I would say that just watch out for all the athletes. They're all amazing. They can all pull off times that uh, that are going to be unbelievable out there and they're all going to ride as hard as they can. They're, they're chargers. I mean, to go through the injuries that they've been through, all of them, you know, different injuries. Not everybody was in the military. A lot of people were on the civilian side, uh, car accidents, machinery, working machinery and stuff like Keith Gable. And they're just going to go out there and hard charge it and just have the best time ever. You know, you're a do-tour. Go have some fun. Get pumped. Uh, and just lay it out, you know. There you go. Lay it out and get pumped to watch these guys in a jacket snowboarding.